I thought we competed really well against Bromley, uh, really did. We gave, went to one of the, uh, the informed teams and gave them a real game. Um, the goals we give away were, were poor goals on our behalf uh, and avoidable. But no, I thought the, poor, uh, the boys put in a hell of, a, hell of an effort. I mean, the two goals that we saw from Lynn were really good goals as well. I mean, it was a cracking goal from Ross, I think, but also when Jaden went down the line. Was the yeah, yeah, we started the half really well. I mean, Jaden got our noses in front with a good individual goal. And then Ross, second half, popped up at the back post and finished really, really well. He's got that quality, Ross, so uh, no, two good finishes. Your thoughts on stuff? I've not seen any of the footage from that game yet. Well, we're very disappointing. Uh, they were a class act, really, really good side. Uh, uh, probably very, very close to winning the league, I would imagine, this year. Uh, but it just shows the gulf of class of what's in this league. And uh, they'll be at the top and we're fighting for our lives down where we are at the moment. So, uh, no, I think it just showed on the night the, the, the gulf. How are you and the players feeling about the current situation? And what's the atmosphere like for you like in the dressing room right now? Well, obviously, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, like you said, the season hasn't been going our way, but there's two ways you go after it. You either like blame your, blame, blame other people or you just trying to take responsibility and move on with it and try to get this turned around. And uh, I, can, I can say that our, our team is, is focused to change it around and just got to focus on the next game. How do you manage to motivate and keep them going? And they seem to always come up time and time again on the up. Yeah, well, we need to. We need to. We need to respond very, very quickly and rebound from it. And uh, we've got a home game that's really crucial to us. So we're, we're looking for a massive uh, response from them, uh, for the whole team. But in training today, they were, they were back to normal, back to good spirits. So we're, we're looking forward to the game. How do you deal with that like, when you come back together? Do you sit them down and have a talk through? Because obviously you've got a very young group of players at that level. Is it very much a case of mentoring and coaching through it, or is it just going through the routines and refining the actual technical stuff? No, we, we, um, we had a discussion, a long discussion after the Stockport game, uh, a quite frank dis discussion with us all. And we just said after after um, we get back on the coach, all our focus is on order shot. We can't do anything about the previous games. Uh, so all our focus now is clearly on the next home game that we've got coming up. If you look at the table, uh, it's a massive game for us. Like We need to win this game to be able to get out of this. And um, if you look at the other results from our past games, they personally, I don't think they reflect uh, how we played and our performances. But as I is, um, football is a matter of, it's about results. You can play well and lose, or you can play bad and win. So at the end of the day, that's all that matters. But um, we don't have, we, we don't need extra motivation because we know where we are and we, we know we don't want to be there. So um, Saturday is the, is, the, is the day to turn this around. The fans on social media are obviously turning this into some sort of a make or break type game. How do you manage the players' expectations in respect to that? Well, I don't think it's a make or break because there's still 20 odd games to play, so it's, it's not the end of the world, uh, whatever. So, uh, but we know, we know the importance of the game. It's a home game. We haven't particularly been too good at home lately, so it's 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 a, a chance for us to rectify that and um, and really give a good go account of ourselves going into the game. I don't look at the outside. I try to focus on myself as good as I can. Obviously, it's not always easy, but I can only do what's in front of me and I can only do so much and I, I, that, like me personally I don't look at social media so um, all I can do is I'm here to do a job and uh, obviously we haven't been doing well uh, so it's, it's on each and every one of us to turn this around. What would you say to the fans who are going to turn up at the stadium? What, do you, what can they do to help you? Well, if if I'm looking, at, if I if I put myself in them, their shoes, it's not nice. It's not nice when you when you when your team's not doing well and not not getting the results. But um, about a, like a fan, a proper fan is someone that stands behind the team even though they're not they're not winning. And um, obviously they can make a difference. They can be, make a massive difference if they support us on Saturday, which I'm sure they, they will. And um, I'm sure they will. And we will. We actually we need them.